Hello, welcome back to the vlog. I need to be completely brutally honest with you guys. I do not have a video planned for this week. Nothing planned. Nothing exciting happening. Life's pretty mundane at the moment. So, welcome to this week in the life. I'm going to bring you guys along my week with me, show you what it looks like now that I'm working full time, doing whatever you want to call this. I refuse to use the word influencer, that's not happening. As you can see, it's, I mean, it's still technically the morning, but I am just at the end of my morning tea break. I work from home. I need to head back to work. I'm working until probably 4.30 today, and then I will knock off for the day, and then we'll see where the evening takes us. I have a bit of content to film this week for brand deals and things like that, so you guys can come along with me for the whole journey and see how I balance it all, because frankly, I don't know myself, so we're all going to find out we're in this together. Also, I just noticed, I have been, I have been using, I think it turns out whiter on camera than it actually, than it actually is in real life, but I've been using a teeth whitening kit that I got for Christmas from my mum, from the whitening co, and it actually looks like it's working! My teeth weren't that bad to start off with, but, oh well, that's fine, I'll take it. Hello, it is lunchtime, and I have two, nope, 15 minutes left of my lunch break, so I'm going to read for my lunch break. Normally I just scroll on Instagram or something, but like, everything in my life is social media, so it's nice to just not be on social media for a little bit. And also my screen time, it really needs sorting out, so I'm going to read. I finished reading The Flat Share, not yesterday, day before. The Flat Share was really, really good, but this is by the same author, and I'm loving it so far. It's like quarter past seven. And um, that noise you can hear in the background, I really hope you can hear it, is Dad mulching up some trees. He's been doing, what's like the, the noun for arborist stuff? Anyway, he's been cutting down trees, so now he's mulching them up. He wanted me to go help, but Dad does this thing where he just wants people to keep him company. He doesn't actually need their help. <laughs> I've just been sitting on the couch reading my book, which has been really nice. I finished work at 4.30. <laughs> it's so loud. Cooked dinner, we had pulled pork tacos which was so tasty from HelloFresh. Probably good lighting to kind of show it. I don't know if you guys can see on my cheek here but it kind of looks like an acne breakout. I'm really hoping that's not what it is because I have never really had acne breakouts before in my life but I do have psoriasis and sometimes it does come up looking like this. I think I'm having an allergic reaction to something. I don't know what. It could be I've kind of switched up my skincare routine so it could hi it's highly possible that's what it is. I have been eating a lot of tomato, which is highly acidic, which it could also be that. I've been consuming more dairy than I normally would, it could be that. I have been using a facial sunscreen, which is sometimes also causing a problem, so it could be that. I've also been spending a bit of time in the sun, so it could be that. Honestly, it could be one of many things, but it's really itchy and like under here is really sore as well. So I, d I don't know what's going on, but it's really, really sore. My lips have all blistered as well, which is so painful. So I'm just dealing with that at the moment. This morning I got up at quarter past five and went to the gym. Fantastic. Been doing that for like a few weeks now. In order to do that, I have to go to bed at like nine o'clock-ish, so make sure I get my full eight hours sleep. Last night I didn't go to sleep until like quarter to ten, and I woke up very tired this morning, so I need to make sure that I'm in bed a little bit earlier tonight. Huh? I'm upstairs. No, do you need my help? Quick outfit change, let's go and see what they require of me. Put my safety shoes on. As you can hear, they're still very much mulching outside, but only one person can obviously put the trees into the mulcher at one time. So I was just outside retrieving the cut down trees from around the garden and putting them in a, I'll show you the pile. So yeah, now I think I've retired from that. Um, that machine does scare me because one wrong move, if you grip the tree wrong and your hand goes in with it, I don't think Owen would appreciate me turning up in Australia missing my right hand. So we will not be participating in those sorts of activities. I have just done some skincare. I washed my face and I haven't actually put anything on it. I think I might leave it as is for tonight rather than putting a moisturizer on it and just see what happens. I have put stuff on my lips because they're blistering so that needs some attention. And I've been planning, because my 21st is in like a couple months, so I'm planning just just a party. Like it's nothing nothing super fancy, nothing super special, but I have a couple of bills I have to pay for it, like the cake and I mean like a balloon thing. So I'm about to pay those invoices. G'day. It is 5.53 and I have finished work. I did nine hours today, so that was quite the effort from me. It is dinner time and I have uh, time to go cook dinner and I feel like mum's already started, but I have to like, as part of my agreement with HelloFresh, I have to post tonight's dinner on my story. So I need to go and 
help her downstairs. I just jumped on and you guys, I'm pretty sure I said this, but I have some pre-loved clothes up on my EGS Apparel website. The, the EGS Apparel doesn't exist anymore, but I still have the website until like the end of next month. So I'm like, I might as well use it. So if you want to check out my pre-loved clothes, I just dropped the price and everything because I want to get it sold before I lose access to the website. So if you want to jump over there and check out and see if anything's left, by all means, go for gold. We are cooking dinner. We get our groceries or some stuff from Soupy and they sell this fruity drink. It's sugar free, but it tastes really good. And it's actually my old manager from work does the marketing for these guys. And it tastes so good. That one's the orange passion flavored. It looks like Fanta. Kind of tastes like Fanta too. It's very tasty. What's your favorite flavor of that fruity stuff so far? Um, strawberries and cream. Yeah, same. Strawberries and cream. Like and cream and soda sort of. Yeah, that's really tasty. We're gonna carry on cooking dinner. We're having. You guys would have seen it on my story because you all follow me on Instagram. How do you say this? Cha cha soy is that how you say it? Oh yes. Cha soy beef and noodle stir fry with crushed peanuts. <laughs> Let's say hi. Hello. Good morning guys. I just got home from the gym and just realized that I have been wearing my workout top inside out all morning. Um, this is the seam that's supposed to be on the inside. Luckily, it doesn't actually have a tag on it. That fell off a while ago. So you can't actually, well, that's why I couldn't tell. Like when I put it on this morning, I was like, which way is the right way? And I clearly got it wrong. Joys of getting changed in the dark in the morning. Um, so I love that for me. Time for some lunch. It's one o'clock and I have got the air fryer going downstairs with the little potato hash brown bite things. But oh, my abs are so sore. Yesterday at BFT, we did this exercise. It was kind of like, an ab wheel but they had the barbell with like a couple of fives on the other side and you like kneeled and then you like rolled it out and I was like this is so unproductive but today that was the only ab thing we did the whole time and my core is so sore <laughs> on the ski erg and every time I pulled was it down or up anyway some movement I did or oh, it burned I have a meeting at 1 30 so I yeah need to eat kind of quick-ish but tonight I am going with Taya just figuring out the logistics of that like whether I'm picking her up because I'll drive because I don't have to pay for petrol in an EV so it makes sense I'm gonna pick her up I think or she'll come here and we'll go from here into the city to Spark Arena for Open Heaven tonight which honestly I don't really know what it is looked like fun I think it's like a huge prayer meeting with praise and worship and stuff which is my kind of vibe so we're just gonna go along, see what it's all about. It doesn't start till 7.30. So, yeah, I don't know if I'll be at BFT in the morning because I try and go to bed at quarter past nine, but if it doesn't finish until like 8.39ish, there's no way that I'm gonna be home in time to get up in the morning. Tay is here. All right, guys, we're off. You'll see phone footage for the rest of the evening, so let's go. download from last night it was so much fun we rocked up like in pretty good timing but it took us so long to find a car park and then we went into like the spark arena car park building and also uh, not kind of funny but it does make me laugh a little bit people don't hear my car coming so they'll just walk out in front of me i almost ran over several people but i didn't so it's fine we pulled into the car park building and the bottom like four levels are all reserved car parks everyone just kept going up and up and up and then there's so many cars, everyone's backed up. And we're like, this is what happens when you are coming to a Christian thing and everyone here is praying for a car park right now. <laughs> but it's fine. We got a car park, it was great. We went in, we didn't actually stay for the whole thing. It started at 7.30, we left at like quarter to nine just because we had to like drive a bit to get back home. But yeah, it was amazing. This, like, we prayed for so many things like the country, we prayed for mental health, we prayed for addiction, we prayed for the housing crisis. There's like lots of things that are so relevant in our community as a nation like as people like yeah so anyway it was a great time but this morning I since we got home a bit late I went to the seven o'clock gym class this morning which is actually kind of nice because as I was driving there the sun was rising it was beautiful got home and I have a package from Sabo skirt so I have ordered from them twice now my first order was a dress for my 21st and a dress which I wore at New Year's the dress I ordered for my 21st, I absolutely love it. It's been all over my Instagram and I'm obsessed. It's called the London Knit Dress and I've got it in the sunset colour, which I'm going to wear to my 21st, except I got a size small and it's kind of a little bit, 
like it doesn't quite fit right so I've gone for a size extra small to see if it fixes the job so I'm gonna try it on right now and we're gonna see I am on morning tea break right now so I, I gotta be quick because I've only got 10 minutes this fits so much better than the last one it's actually crazy how much just like one size can make a difference the other one was a little bit too long in the arm straps this strap across the back was a little bit too long and the this bit here like hung too low so you could like see like the top of my undies it wasn't wasn't what the wasn't the vibe we were going for. So anyway, this is the dress. I'm not gonna gatekeep it because I know it's it's a very nice dress. It's not sponsored, obviously, but it's called the London knit dress. And this is the sunset color. They've also been bringing out like a new color every week, so that's cute. But anyway, I'm so happy with this. So after that, I'm gonna be sending this size small back where it came from. Hello guys, happy Friday. It probably looks real nice and bright, but it is it is not. Not good weather today, we're expecting a cyclone just in time for the long weekend. But I am off to work in person today, which is unheard of. We work in person like once a month, there or thereabouts. So I'm off to Highbrook today for work in person, which is fun. Last night I didn't vlog because I was filming my 5 to 9 for a reel for HelloFresh actually. Whoa, hello guys, it is like 6 o'clock. I got home at like half past 4 since I left the city early. I hadn't done like my full eight hour day so I came home and had to finish that but it took me like an hour to get home because um there was a truck on fire on the motorway yeah not great work was great it was so much fun we did some tiktoks and stuff today because you know social media agency things mum and dad they've been away I don't think I said this but they've been away in Hamilton working and I have been looking for some film for my film camera because I'm heading to Melbourne next week and I need film for my film camera and it's like out of stock everywhere anyway this place in Hamilton had some stock so dad went and got me some Kodak Gold 200 and some Kodak 400. Dad's a photographer, so he used to shoot with the 400 stuff. It was his recommendation, so I'll take his word for it. All I can say is, thank goodness it is Friday because I am so tired. The weather is like disgusting right now. Like, it feels so much later than it is. Like, I feel like I should be getting into my pajamas right now. Instead, it's kind of cold too, so I'm just gonna jump into some sweatpants and a hoodie and just chill out. I'm just using my phone as, oh, no I'm not. <laughs> we just got a phone call and uh, Auckland is flooded right now basically, including my Nana's rest home. I need, to, I need to go. Last night while Auckland was underwater, we got a phone call to say that my Nana's rest home was also underwater. So here we are going for a little rescue mission in the four-wheel drive to go pick her up and some of the other residents too. As you can see, there are literal rapids in the car park. It was, the water was running through there like it was a river. So we came up and we got the residents, some of the residents into the car and took them up to the local hospital for shelter. They were fine, they just needed somewhere obviously to get out of the floods. As you can see, the water was really deep. There's my brother giving us a wave. They were helping with the police to escort the residents and just redirect the traffic. Once we got up to the hospital, here's dad carrying Nana inside and I just waited with the oldies in the waiting room just to make sure that they were all good. Mum and dad went back to get some more of the oldies. Um, Nana was a bit cold, so I gave him my hoodie. But we moved the oldies through to the lounge area and I just sat with them for a while but it was a bit chaotic because there were only so many beds for so many people um nana was happy as larry though and then we had to try to get home through all of flood water but that was my friday night hey guys progress update it is 12:01 a.m we just got home <laughs> that whole ordeal we left home at like i want to say like 20 to 9 we managed to get into the rest home it was fully flooded like the whole car park was literally like rapids <laughs> going in we took three people in our car like our four-wheel drive up to the hospital the hospital was not prepared for the people so there was like 15 people not enough beds i stayed up at the hospital with the oldies to help look after them with the nurses for like two hours while mum and dad went to get another load of people to bring back but they couldn't get into the rest home because it was had in the time like the 20 minutes we were gone it had the floodwaters had got so high we couldn't actually get what well, they couldn't get through so instead they went down to the racetrack because my brother's race car was down there stuck in the flood water but anyway i'm so tired i need to go to bed but i'll see you guys tomorrow well good morning folks it's a fresh day and it's still pouring down with rain it has been all right up until now it's like 9 30 there's been not like really that much rain since i woke up this morning my brother's race car down at the racetrack so we're gonna go and make sure we'll see if it's okay the water look it's a ute it's a sanyong rhino ute the water was up like halfway up the doors i'll insert a photo but yeah not good i also have an um optometrist appointment this morning at 20 to 11 i'm getting my glasses <laughs> great timing so um that's gonna be a little intermission during the day but anyway let's go 
Hey guys, it is a little bit later on now. I don't even know what the time is. It's quarter to four. Today has been a little bit of a shambles to be quite honest. Race car is great, it's fine as well, but the racing's been cancelled for tomorrow. We went and managed to salvage most of Nana's stuff from her room. The water hadn't come like through her window, but it had like the whole, it was like, I couldn't go inside. Like it made me feel physically ill, the state that it was in. Cause I have so many happy memories of being there. Like as a kid, my nanny used to volunteer there and we'd go in, she'd play the piano. Like I just had so many happy memories and to see it in like such a state, I'd like, uh, was not good. Everything that came out of her room was covered in mud and the whole rest home, the whole floor is just mud. Most of the water had drained out. But yeah, it was just literally running straight through the whole building like a river. Like there was a literal whole tree trunk in the lounge of the rest home. I don't know, I don't know how they got in there because the, like the way that the door swings, like the door would have been shut. So I, I genuinely have no clue how it got in there. And we're just going to go back shortly and get the rest of Nana's stuff. I spent the last two hours taking photos out of photo albums because photos like they're film. Like you can't just print them off again. We have the negatives so we could if we wanted to but not all of the negatives. A little bit of a depressing day to be honest. Alright it has been a big day but we're home at last. I forgot to, well I didn't forget to, I just intentionally didn't vlog going to my glasses. I got them from Specsavers because I'm an AA member I had a free eye exam and bad eyesight runs in my family so I was like cool just go check for fun whatever. Lo and behold I needed glasses. They had two for 169 so I got two. I got like clear lenses and sunglasses and then I also had to pay $100 to add clear coat to my normal glasses but anyway these are the normal glasses see even like looking at the camera like it just looks so much clearer I don't know how I feel about them total transparency I only got them because they were like, the cheapest option and then these are these sunglasses which are not dissimilar to ones that I normally wear so just like plain round except their prescription so I can see when I'm driving, which is always a good thing. But I heard that dinner is ready, so I'm gonna go get some dinner. Good morning, guys. Wow, this is a look that I am really gonna have to get used to. It is like 10.30. I have just watched church online on the TV because the church that I'm going to in Auckland, they cancelled all of their in-person services for this Sunday just because they didn't want people to be traveling around when the roads are like kind of dodgy at the moment, which fair enough. It was actually quite nice because I didn't, I wasn't really in the mood to go out today. Um, it's been like pretty chaotic like the last 24, 36 hours, so it's nice just to have a sleep and breathe. But I've just written my little to-do list for the day. I need to pack my bag to go to Australia next week. I need to book the sky bus so that I can get from the airport into the city. I need to water my plants. I need to fix my drawer. The middle drawer over here is broken, like the handle is broken and like yeah so I'm just gonna fix that. I need to clean my bedroom and my bathroom and I need to edit this video that you guys are watching right now because this is going out tomorrow if I am organized enough. <clears throat> she was not organized enough. So I'm just gonna wrap this up here so that I don't um that I don't know where that sentence was going. I'm gonna wrap this up here. I think we're gonna go in this afternoon and visit Nana, which will be nice. The rest home. When we turned up there yesterday afternoon to get the second lot of Nana's stuff, a church group had been through. Someone put out an SOS and this whole church group of like 40 people came through and basically cleared out the whole entire place, which was very heartwarming. They had a local guy come in with his tractor and he was like basically just picking up all the junk and putting it into the back of the truck and then a farmer down the road said all good you can drop the rubbish at my place. So by the time we got there there was one truckload of rubbish leaving and then he arrived, arrived back and the tractor was just going for it because everything was just like the water inside looked like it had probably got to maybe knee height. So yeah it wasn't it wasn't good. Like nothing was salvageable to the point where <laughs> when my Popper like three years ago was in a rest home. He he was very immobile so he bought him one of those lazy boy chairs which literally took but it's electric so it gets to a point where like you can it basically tips you out of the chair so you can stand up properly but he never used it and so we had it at my nana's house and then when she moved into rest home we moved it with her. She didn't really use it but she did use it more than Papa did and we went back yesterday to go salvage it with the floods and it's it, it's a write-off like it was disgusting it had just soaked up all the water and because it's got electrical stuff in it which is in the bottom of the chair it was it was ruined so that's a shame it, like you probably could have salvaged it but the problem is we don't know what was in the water that was running through the place um it was highly possible that it was full of like sewage and stuff so yeah we don't really want that 
I'm gonna wrap this up here. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you for coming along my week, which started off very low key and ended very rapidly. Um, very interestingly, um, not as planned. I hope you guys are all safe and well, and I'll see you guys in my next video.